Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the shop. Today is clear coat day. Uh, just one more step of getting us closer to the finish line on this thing. Yeah, you know, this truck is really starting to take shape, looking like a whole nother vehicle. The uh, clear coat we're going to be spraying today is uh, Value Pro, put out by PPG. Uh, I've been using this clear for years. It's been my go-to clear. Um, it, it lays down really well. It sprays really nice and really buffs out good and easy. And uh, so we're going to be using it on this truck. Um, we're going to probably do three coats, wet sand that, and do two to three more coats on this thing. The gun we'll be using is an Iwata Supernova WS400. Be spraying it with a 1-3 tip, and it really, you know, it busts up the clear really well. I've got it mixed um, with a little bit of reducer that helps it uh, atomize a little bit better. So check it out. Um, as we get to spraying here, you'll see the cloud appear, and you'll start to see the shine come on the truck. y'all right, here we go uh right after the clear coat is sprayed the uh, cloud finally died down enough for me to get back in here and check this thing out and walk around it uh, i came out really nice i'm super happy with the way it laid out uh, we got three layers of clear on this thing um, the first time and uh, we're gonna cut this down and get it ready to go again we'll cut it with 800 grit uh retape where it needs to be taped and um, shoot two to three more coats clear on it Okay, so here I'll be uh, sanding the truck down with 800 grit, wet sanding it, um, on a semi-hard block. Uh, what we're doing is getting the, the orange peel texture, any kind of trash that might have gotten in it, um, getting it down flat. And when we get that flat, we'll go back and uh, tack it, wipe it down, and we'll shoot some more clear coat on it. Now, I don't have video of me shooting the other clear on it, but you can tell in the next set of pictures um, how much better that clear laid out and how much darker... Or how much depth it gave the blue when you do it like this uh, that clear when it goes down that second time it's not really like a flow coat because i'm putting you know more than one coat on it but it just it gives it so much more depth and so much more clarity 
and just, you know, overall gives you a really great job. Now look here how clear and how smooth that blue is, how much darker it looks. It almost takes on a black tone. Um, that, that extra step of cutting it and laying that extra clear really, really does it justice. A lot of extra work, but it's, it's worth it in the long run. All right, y'all, let's sand some more. Uh, as you can tell, it's a little bit warmer here. Uh, gotta love North Carolina weather. Uh, but we're going to be sanding this thing with 1500 grit with a soft pad. Uh, from there, we'll go to 2000 grit and then we'll trizact it with 3000 trizact on a DA polisher with a soft interface pad. And what that'll do, that'll smooth it out and just make that buffing process a whole lot easier. A lot of rubbing goes on uh, doing one of these trucks, but it's got to be done to, uh, you know, to get the, the outcome like you like. All right, guys, it's polish time. I started buffing this thing with Meguiar's uh, 105 and 205, a cutting compound and a polishing compound. I used a wool pad with the cutting compound and a black foam pad uh, with the polishing compound. After that, I uh, went over it with a uh, dual action polisher and uh, kind of got any kind of imperfections or swirls that were left out in it out of the paint. And uh, from there, we'll put a pressed of fast wax on it give it that really really good wet look the grill here i took it back out of the truck um when i painted the truck i did paint the blue strip there in the middle but the grill overall um didn't do the rest of the truck justice so i pulled it out took it apart redone the blue re-cleared the blue took and uh took the bow tie and cleaned it up took some one shot black paint went back in there and painted that stuff back black and painted the uh, silver pieces of the grill back with a uh, rally silver and once that was all put back together, it doesn't look brand new, but it does look a whole lot cleaner and had a better appearance in the truck.